Allison's going to demonstrate for us an exercise called the hang clean. You can see this is a much more advanced exercise, and it involves the explosive muscles in the trunk and the hips to explode the bar up to the shoulders. These are the exact muscles that we talked about using in the pitching motion and where the explosiveness comes from pitching. Show us a couple more. Now, why don't you show us how you would teach this to one of your athletes? All right, Deanne, please come on up here. What we're going to learn today is the hang clean. We're going to start with a dowel rod because it's, it's lightweight. And you want to be careful not to try to start with too heavy a weight. So don't graduate to a bar or any weight plates until you can do this in proper form. And I want to emphasize that this is an advanced lift. It should be done by an experienced lifter. You should have a coach or an instructor around to make sure that you're doing the exercise properly. The way we want to start with a hang clean is to get the dowel off the ground, bend the knees slightly. You want to get a big chest, throw your shoulders back, your eyes are forward, you have a nice center of balance, your feet are approximately shoulder width or further apart. And the first motion is you're actually going to dip your knees slightly. And as you come up, we're going to try this in slow motion, D. As you dip your knees, you actually pull up with your shoulders into a real high shrug. And now you're on your tippy toes. Come up on your toes as you pull your shoulders and then duck under the bar, throwing your elbows forward. Let the bar rest on your shoulders. And as soon as you feel balanced, you're going to stand up and then lower the bar as close to the body as possible. Now the important thing is to remember where the acceleration takes part, as you dip the knees, you're going to accelerate as much as you can by pulling hard on the shoulders so you're in this position. And as you can see, I'm way up on my tiptoes. Then what you're going to actually do, Deanne, is duck under the bar rather than try to curl the bar toward you. All right, let's try that. And I'll spot her from the back just to keep her from falling backwards. If you feel off balance, all you need to do is push the bar away from you and you can self-spot yourself. All right, stand up straight. Let's start from a straight position. Give me a knee dip, high shrug of the shoulder, tiptoe, duck under the bar. Okay, not bad. Now let's do it quickly so you don't think about pulling that bar. Don't do a reverse curl. You want to pull the bar up like that. Now duck under it. Duck under it now. That's good. Okay, now let's try it as quickly as possible. Ready? Dip and shrug. Not bad. You want to kind of jump a little bit. Exaggerate the motion when you have a light bar. Dip. That's good. Let's go ahead and go to a bar weight and see if she can pull that up. This uh, Olympic bar weighs approximately 45 pounds. Again, we're going to start standing up straight. We're going to dip the knees, shrug the shoulders, go up on our tiptoes, and duck under the bar. Now that's pretty good for slow motion. What we don't want to do is curl the bar with our arms. Our arms are hanging freely, and all they actually do is bend as we jump under the bar. I want you to catch it a little lower. All right, as quickly as possible. Ready? Push. That's a pretty good lift. And stand it up. This is the finish of the lift. Lower it slowly. Let's do three in a row quickly. Concentrate on shrugging and getting under the bar. Ready? Dip. That's a good lift. Stand it up, lower it. Big chest. Good. And let's go one more. Good. Let's give Deanna a rest. We're going to wear her out. Let's put the bar on the floor. For more advanced lifts, you can go to a power clean. And all that means is that you're lifting it from the floor. You want to have the same shoulder width stance. Feet can be forward or slightly out. Big chest, arms wider than the hips. And what you're going to do is pull it from the floor now. Your eyes are focused straight ahead. Your behind is down. And you push as hard as you can down on that floor. And now we're to the hang clean position. You dip again and go into the motion. Okay, let's try it from the floor. Push hard. Okay, now she did that in slow motion to show you the two steps. I want you to smooth that out and make it all one motion. You want to accelerate the bar. Don't, don't let it decelerate. Ready, push. Good, and stand it up. 
and let's do one more. Okay, good. Take a rest. I'm going to show it from the side just to get the angle of the hips and knees. Go ahead and turn around. I'll move the bar for you. Okay. Let's do one more power clean just to give you an, a different view. Big chest. Okay, one more, please. A little quicker. Power it up. That's good. That's a nice lift for just learning. And just to remember... Keep the weight light at first. Go up in very small increments and always work with someone knowledgeable on the power lifting techniques.